How goes it all? Welcome back to Patterson Hill Properties. Hopefully you guys are having a great and exceptional day. Remember Patterson Hill Properties, we host uh, real estate via tax sales, tax liens, and we do the good, good old fashioned marketing via te text messages, phone calls, and all that great stuff. Check out our website in the description and go from there. But anyways, do the great three free things, like, share, and subscribe. Hopefully you guys are having an amazing evening as it is late as I'm recording, but hey, as they say, better late than never, okay? Or as my mother would say back in the day, whatever's clever. That's real 1990s lingo right there. So especially from the DMV area, but I digress. All right, so let's get into um, today's um, subject matter because uh, I find it to be very, very interesting. If you've been watching my channel for a while now, you know I talk about a lot of things that, um, and this is all, you know, real estate, all, all aspects of it all day, every day. And, um, you know, um, I'm very passionate about it. And that's why I started this channel outside of promoting my business. I'm just, you know, passionate about um, discussing real estate and, you know, all the great things it has to offer because it's helping me build my economic empire. And I hope it helps you build your economic empire. So many people have become millionaires off of re owning real estate. So many people have uh, put themselves in a position where that they've helped their families become millionaires and successful business people by just making sacrifices and investing the time and the energy and the money into owning a multitude of properties, wholesaling, real estate agent, the whole nine. When, you, when, you're, when the family's about their business and the family's operating as a corporation, then they make life so much better and easier for the next up and coming generation, all right? And I'm just gonna leave it at that, all right? Because a lot of the stuff that we've been told um, in the school system and in the media, especially the media on Fox News, CNN, and all that crap, and I call it mostly 90% lies. I always go back to my Denzel Washington um, training day reference. If you've never seen that movie, great movie. In the beginning of the movies in the cafe, as Ethan Hawke meets him and says, Hey, because Ethan Hawke kept talking and talking, and Denzel Washington's like, Hey, tell me a story. He's like, Tell your story. He's like, Yeah, because you won't allow me to enjoy my cup of coffee, my toast, and my newspaper and whatnot. He's like, Look, 90% of this is BS that's in this newspaper. However, it entertains me. And that's how I look at the media in today's world left, right, middle, uh, red, blue, nothing but entertainment. But, you know, it is what it is. Especially with it being an election season, I might as well just give my perspective on that. But let's get down to the brass tactics. Now, there's no question that we're living in a crazy times all over the world, family. And even though housing prices are starting to come down, let's talk about what's happening in the rental property market. But one real estate market that I own property in is good old central Indiana, all right? Um, specifically within the suburbs of Indianapolis, Indiana. According to the article, like several quarters before it, the third quarter saw of obviously the quarter of um, real estate quarter of 2022 saw a new record for average rents in Indianapolis. Indiana posted an average rent of $1,388 per month, up from $1,362 in quarter two and um, up from $1,278 during the same uh, quarter in 2021. And I actually remember going over these statistics last year as well from a previous video. Total of 544 homes leased in quarter three, essentially the same as uh, quarter two, 543. Um, so just one difference and just shy of quarter three of 2021, 547 a home. So there wasn't that big of a, when it comes to rental properties, there wasn't that big of a difference in regards to when you, when you do the numbers and all things of that nature. So it's interesting. But what does that mean to you, family? Well, when it comes to the economy of central Indiana, obviously it isn't the greatest, but for the Midwest, it isn't the worst either. There's a lot of parts of the Midwest, it's like any other state where the, um, the economies are very bad, the poverty rates are very high, crime rates are very high, things of that nature, right? And during the 2020 COVID-19 pandemic, when it comes to rental properties, they haven't been affected unlike most markets. And, and also in today's market for a single family home, being uh, being able to rent a property at 100, I mean, $1,362 a month isn't a bad deal at all, especially since the average home in the DMV area, Miami, New York, um, Los Angeles, all over California, um, Atlanta, um, you know, it's the average for a single family home um, starts at between $1,800 and $2,000. In New York, it's about $5,000, $6,000 a month for a crappy apartment. So you do the math there. 
Um, and that's why places like that have to ship in, pe ship in um, people from other countries and build camps for them so that they can actually have construction, get, get, get construction done because nobody can afford to live in these places. But it is what it is. The article also stated that the amount of days on market were up a bit coming in at 33 for Q3 2022 versus the only 27 in uh, Q3 2021. So again, the rental market to this point, at least, has been very steady. And for rental property investors like myself, I am all about hearing great news like this, especially because I have houses in this market. And since we're in the fall season around the country, things are going to slow down you know, way more, not just because of the prices of homes um, and the crazy interest rates that we see right now, but got to think about it. Thanksgiving is here. Christmas is right around the corner. Family, so, you know, when you think about it, family and friends are getting together. People just want to be able to settle down and enjoy themselves, you know. So with that being said, more people are just going to be looking at spending time with family, friends, and purchasing Christmas presents and not really looking to move into a new house, whether one is buying the property or renting it, unless somebody's in a desperate situation. And that's what wholesalers like myself uh, do. We assist people in a, in a desperate situation. You know, you got to look at it like that. Also, children are in school. So, you know, in, all over the country, children are in school. Um, so that is, all, unless you're being homeschooled, it's a different story. Also, you know, it's like I said, with them being in school. So that's always something to factor in when it comes to this time of year, a.k.a. the slowing of the movement of people around the United States of America. It is what it is. The article ended on this note stating that while new listings generated multiple applications earlier in the year of 2022, sometimes within hours, homes are now sitting longer. We do know this. Homes are ultimately leasing, but price and conditions play a major role in getting homes leased in a timely manner. Generally speaking, renters are staying put, which is great uh, for renewals, but does, re does reduce the pool of people searching for available properties. As a whole, property management companies suspect that days on the market and possibly average rents could swing in the negative directions during the fourth quarter. So we will see what happens going into 2023. I think it's going to be an interesting year, um, and I think the people that are going to win in 2023, regardless if you're in real estate, regardless if you have a side hustle, regardless if you have a business, are the ones that are going to be talking real estate, talking economics, talking about business, talking about investing the money, and just talk, having that mindset. In my mind, in my personal opinion, I say to some of other channel layers, anything goes to LLC, the, the days of being um, a brilliant, ignorant of useless information are over in the United States of America you're no longer needed unless you find a way to make money off of, of ha uh, being a brilliant idiot of useless information. All right. Let's look at Kanye West. He did a great job of it. I had to slap, but it is what it is. Anyways, do a great thing for you. Thanks family. Like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day. And as I always say, make money moves or you're going to live bro like a fool. Take care. Family.